Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekend reading for October 28th through 30th, 2022. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you. As always, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Keep in mind, folks, this is a general reading, so not everything will resonate with you. Take the parts that do, leave the rest behind. And uh, if you do find that you enjoy this reading or that if it does resonate in some way, please hit that like button there on this video. Also, um, while you're there hitting the like button, if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button there too, uh, that would be awesome. And also feel free to leave me a comment in the box down below. That is how we use the YouTube algorithm. So if the videos get seen, the more interaction that they have, the more likely that they are are to reach people who need to see them. So let's see what we've got coming out for the weekend. Of course, we are heading right into All Hallows Eve, Halloween, if you will, Samhain. It's a wonderful time of the year. The veil is very thin, so great time to work on your spiritual self, your spiritual gifts, to clean some energy, to connect with your spirit guide. Um, let's have a look, or I should say spirit guides, because we quite often have much more than just the one. Okie doke. So we have a couple of cards coming in here. This is the Witch's Familiars, and these give you warnings, premonitions, and also uh, protection. So we do have the Goblin energy that's coming out here for you, okay? Now, first and foremost, and this is a reminder for you to take the high road, okay? The Goblin is where we may have something that comes up, okay, or something that's already been going on where you might want to get revenge or you might want to uh, hit someone back the not hit like physically but um, you know if someone's like gotten a dig at you right you might want to get a dig right back at them right okay a little bit of vengeance shall we say so this is a reminder here to not embrace your inner goblin your inner demon there okay and to deal with difficult situations or resolve situations with um, peace and with calm. Not always easy. Not always easy. We all have this little goblin-y energy in us. Okay, so it's just a reminder of that. This could also be a little bit of a heads up, a little bit of warning for some of you here that there may be someone around you this weekend that does not have your best interests at heart. Okay, they may um, not be acting with the best intentions. They may think they are, they may be kind of high and mighty and hoity-toity, okay, but in reality here, they are operating in their best interests and not yours. So it's just a little bit of a heads up there with that goblin energy. But we also do have the swan coming out of here with fidelity. So the swans, swans mate for life. So this is number one. Some of you may actually be... Um, strengthening a bond, a connection with a significant other, with a friend, a business partnership, okay? You might um, really want to focus on the relationships with the people that you trust. And the fidelity energy brings in that. It brings in faithfulness. It brings in you're my number one or you're a really important person in my life and I'll never do you wrong. So there could be someone here, you know, for some of you, I think you are strengthening that bond or you really are trying to spend some time with the people that you can really put your faith into, that you can really trust. Okay. Um, perhaps you, uh, there may be a misunderstanding with a friend here, I gotta say, um, especially with that malice energy coming in, there might be like a third party situation. Like, you know, one friend is maybe jealous of another and may like try and cause a rift or something like that. So there may be something there that's affecting, um, you know, a relationship in some way. Okay. It could be like a family member, you know, uh, a mother or father-in-law might be getting them in between two people. Okay. That kind of thing going on. Right. And someone may come between, try and come between you and someone else. But this is also um, a message here to just be a little bit cautious of who you do trust, okay? Because there just may be someone there that is putting on a false front. Chances are your intuition is already telling you this. So it may not necessarily be a surprise for you, okay? But when we have the malice and we have fidelity both coming out together, okay, there may be something here for somebody where your faithfulness may be tested, 
okay? So kind of a slightly harsh message in that regard, but hey, when we're pulling the cards, we take the good with the bad, right? Um, so it's just a little bit of a heads up there that your faithfulness may be uh, tested in some way. There may be some temptation, okay? Or, you know, there might be something here that may be, you know, uh, a test of faith, in some way okay so just a little heads up there for you the swan there is to protect you okay and the goblin actually also is there to protect you even though he does look truly frightening and terrifying so let's see what other cards we've got out here for you and ah very interesting so we do have give love so focus on the people that you love and that you trust today the people that are faithful to you and that you're faithful to them Okay, this is also a reminder here with the give love energy is that love is the highest vibration of all. Okay, and when we operate in the energy of love and kindness and compassion, number one, we keep the good vibes flowing. Number two, things um, quite often do um, are easier to deal with, okay, even challenging uh, things, okay, challenging energies, and, you know, things just really do kind of flow a little bit easier. We feel better about ourselves when we deal with even horrible situations with that I won't say positivity because uh, that's not necessarily what it is, but with that kindness and compassion that comes out there, okay? But with the give love energy is also that someone may show you some sort of love and kindness this weekend, but you might also show others the same thing. So pay attention to your partnerships here with the give love, the fidelity. Um, you may, there may be a big misunderstanding here somewhere. Okay. Someone may be doing something a little bit secretive and you may think you may jump to conclusions with that malice energy and you may think that someone's doing something underhanded when in actual fact they're actually maybe plotting something very wonderful and positive on the back end. So just saying, so some of you may actually receive some love or a gift or again, um, you know, um, enter into a further level, a higher level of commitment somewhere. Okay. And that may actually chase those demons away. Or again, maybe you think that there's someone doing something underhanded and they're actually not not they're just operating under a veil of secrecy okay and you might get a pleasant surprise but we also have meditation meditation energy here as well okay so um if in doubt meditate okay this is a great weekend for you the veil is thin we're in halloween energy okay and this is a great time for you to connect with your higher self and to go really deep okay to really connect on a very deep um, level there. Okay. So you can connect a lot easier right about now. Um, if you're not really good at meditation or you find that you just really can't, you know, you just give up after a few minutes, try a guided meditation and that may actually work for you. Um, you can actually sometimes, uh, a form of meditation may actually also be like a hobby or something. Um, sometimes, you know, you get lost in in something like um i know people that uh like they they're a painter like an artist and they totally lose themselves in what they're doing and their conscious mind totally switches off and it's almost as though they're just doing things kind of a little bit automatic for them it's like a form of meditation it's their happy place right it's where they go um to just kind of you know, be in their own vibe, right? In their own little world. And it's calming and it's clearing for them. And so, you know, if you find that, you know, guided meditations aren't your thing or, you know, trying to do meditations on your own, you can work with crystals, but also finding that one thing, that hobby, you know, or something where you can just lose yourself and just shut out the world. And, you know, you're not really thinking about anything. You're just in the flow, right? Embrace that. Okay. So meditation may bring you some answers that you may be looking for. And let's, oh, there's your, there's your shadow. Okay. So uh, very interesting that comes up. All right. So the bottom of the deck, we've got the seven of pentacles. 
So before you take action, make sure you take a step back and assess your situations, okay, uh, to contemplate something, to look at the truth behind something, okay, or to make a decision, or again, come up with a plan or a strategy, okay? So think before you act, okay? Take that step back before you rush into something. We do have a devil card coming out, and which I kind of suspected when we got the goblin card there, okay? So some sort of temptation may come in here for you. All right. But we do have the eight of wands and we also have the ace of wands. So you might be gung ho to try something new. Okay. The ace of wands brings in some new inspiration, some creative juices flowing. Okay. It also brings in your power and your ability to manifest. And the eight of wands can also represent a manifestation energy. For So for some of you here, this is a great weekend for you to set some intentions to manifest something exciting and wonderful into your world. Okay. For others of you, maybe you do get some good news and something that you've been manifesting in and something that you've wanted, um, all of a sudden comes to fruition. Okay. It may, t it may just be, um, very exciting for you because the eight of wands, yes, it's a busy energy. It's a very fast paced kind of energy. All right. But it can also represent setting intentions, but it can also represent communication and some good news that may come in here. And especially with this ace of wands. So whether this is a new person, a new phase of a romance, okay, um, whatever this happens to be, a new burst of inspiration for you, a big burst of energy even if you will because this is a lot of energy that's coming in right there for you, all right, but we do need to be a little bit aware, okay, uh, you do need to be aware of your shadow side today. The devil card first and foremost represents our shadow side, our lower urges, okay? Our lower vibe energy. Think of things like temptation and seduction, um, our bad habits, our negative ways of thinking, our jumping to conclusions, okay? All of those things that can sometimes trap and ensnare us, okay? So there could be something here that you're really tempted by and, you know, spirit really does want you to take a step back here and think about things before you rush ahead, okay? Be aware that there may be somebody around you that you can't trust this weekend. We already see that, okay? But you might also be in the energy where you just, something is really positive, but you don't quite trust it, okay? So remember to, in this energy, is to, um, you know, to do a little bit of research, okay? If that's what you need to do, right? You might have something great that comes across your table, okay? Or something that comes across, um, you know, in your day, um, especially with the eight of wands and the ace of wands, but there's something here that maybe you are thinking this is too good to be true, okay? Or maybe you just don't trust a situation or you think that there's something underhanded going on, but again, there's something really wonderful and magical happening instead, so that devil card comes out as just a little bit of a warning, just like that goblin card came up. Okay. So some of you could also, I got to say, because it is a weekend reading, so we're not necessarily looking at massive life lessons. For some of you, it is that kind of big energy. However, this can also represent because we've got Halloween, you might be feeling really inspired here because we've got creation coming in here to create some sort of scary Halloween costume just say it. Okay. The devil card. I mean, Hey, if you dressed up as the devil in disguise, I mean, that would be a scary Halloween costume, right? So perhaps you're just like creating a Halloween costume. Um, you know, that can scare other people. Let's face it. We've got that going on. Okay. Maybe an invitation to like a costume party or something like that. So, but the devil card also, you know, whatever your situation is, the devil card always brings in an energy reminding us that, um, perspective and boundaries are always needed in this regard because something may not be what it seems. Okay. You might be jumping to conclusions. Okay. Or there may be something here that looks really wonderful on the forefront, but there's some underlying energy that can trap you or snare you. The devil card does bring out some addictions, control issues, some obsessions. So if you are invited to like some Halloween costume party, perhaps, um, uh, perhaps try and put the brakes on the alcohol just a little bit, right? Because it can bring in that kind of energy. It's like something real was really good and really fun, but oh man, I went too far and now I'm going to be hungover for three days. 
Okay, so just say in there. So we do also have the Queen of Cups coming in here as your advice from Spirit. Great weekend for you to engage in your spiritual practice, okay, to meditate, to let that energy flow. The Queen of Cups also shows here that there's an ability to heal or fix a situation and to keep your heart open. Okay. Um, love may also be the order of the day because we do have something here that may have manifested into your world. We already show that there may be some love in the air for some of you. And so again, with that devil card there, okay, you could possibly meet someone this weekend and it seems like they might be too good to be true or they with the devil card could simply be a Capricorn or have a very heavy Capricorn placement, but there may be some love in the air for some of you this weekend with this. But ultimately, you it's a really great time for you to focus on love, self-love, um, the people that you care about, to have fun, okay, to do the things that make you happy with the Queen of Cups coming there, but also, yes, very, very powerful weekend for you to engage in your spiritual practice. The Justice card here, we've got some karma, that's coming here. Okay. The justice card, this is your blessings position. So I think here that some of you've got some really good karma that's headed your way. Okay. But I think also on some level, some of you might actually be healing and cleaning out a karmic cycle. The devil card can represent those karmic attachments, those karmic cycles that happen. And with the justice card there, I think it's like coming to an end. It's like a final conclusion and your ability to kind of sweep things clean and clear things away. So interesting, but also here, truth shall prevail. Truth and honesty shall prevail. Okay. Taking the high road will prevail over your lower urges. Okay. So think of this justice card energy, right? Make the right choices for you. Um, make sure that you're honest and truthful. Okay. But also you may have some truth that gets revealed, something that you thought was really icky and it may just turn out to be just fine. But your ability to make important decisions, weighing up the facts, looking at all angles is really going to prevail this weekend for you you. Okay. So very interesting. You also may be dealing with, by the way, because we do have some manifestation in here. The devil card can be something that you've been obsessing about or something that you've desired for a while. Okay. And the justice card can be, this is a contractual obligation, can be signing your name on something like loan documents or, you know, something like that. Right. So it could be that perhaps some of you are actually making a purchase or something this weekend too. Okay. Think of like buying a car. You would need to sign a document, right? Probably a whole bunch of documents with that. Okay. So there just may be something there, um, for you, something that you've really wanted and you've been obsessing over a little bit. Okay. And you might finally make a decision to move forward. Okay. And to buy it, right? We're manifesting something in and we got something bright and shiny and new with that ace of wands, something very exciting. So maybe you are making a purchase or something. Um, this weekend, that's kind of nice. So something bright and shiny and new for you, but we do have the nine of wands as your overall outcome. So once again, with that double card, some of you are going to be overdoing it just a little bit. And by the time the end of the weekend comes, you're tired and you're drained. And, uh, Hey, if you didn't put the brakes on the, uh, on the alcohol at that Halloween party that you attended, then you're probably maybe a little bit hungover for a couple of days. Just saying. Okay. But the nine of wands does show that you are completing a journey. You are getting some things done. And, but it's a reminder here to take care of your own energy and your own needs. It can be where we've, um, feel as though we've kind of, uh, dodged a bullet on some, um, some level. Okay. And, um, it's like, woof, man, I'm, I'm good. I'm done with that. But man, oh man, oh man, do I ever feel like I've been through the ringer. Okay. So there may be some issues that you're dealing with this weekend, but the nine of wands does bring out a conclusion, does bring out the finish line there. Perhaps you've learned how to put up some boundaries that it's been a little bit difficult, difficult. Okay. And, but it's, it's a very tired kind of energy. Okay. So again, uh, you may have had a lot of fun this weekend, but maybe a little too much fun. All right. Um, you might be licking your wounds, so to speak. Okay. But some of you may actually be wounded and you may actually be done with a situation. You're making an important decision with the justice card and there's something very challenging, toxic or negative here with the devil card. Right. So again, you may have some issues, um, with somebody in your realm. Okay. And you put up those boundaries, but man, oh man, that's not an easy task. Right. 
And it's never an easy task when we need to do that, but you're making the right choice and you're making the right decision because you see the truth with that justice card. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. Um, I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you later. Bye.